So, you just installed Linux thinking you've escaped big tech spying, right? Hate to break it to you, but you're still leaking data like a busted faucet. In this video, I'm going to show you the real Linux privacy setup, the one nobody tells you. So by the end, you'll know if your secure machine is actually just Windows with a fake mustache. Your personal data isn't just valuable, it's basically the new oil, and everyone wants a piece of it. Hackers, governments, corporations. If you so much as Google cat memes at 2 a.m., congrats. That's now part of your permanent psychological profile. Every click, every scroll, every late night YouTube binge paints a crystal clear picture of who you are. And the worst part is, you gave it away for free. Most people try to fight back with a VPN and call it a day, which is like putting sunglasses on a snowman and thinking nobody will notice. No, privacy doesn't come from one app, it's layers, actual systems that cut off leaks before they happen. And the first leak to plug is your operating system. Windows? Forget it. Microsoft collects telemetry even if you smash the disable button. Mac OS? Same story but with a shinier logo. These aren't private systems, they're surveillance machines wrapped in marketing. Linux though? Linux is different. Nobody's forcing you into one ecosystem. You can actually pick distros built around privacy. Tails, for example, is a live OS that forgets everything once you shut it down, like digital amnesia. Cube splits your system into isolated compartments, so if malware breaks one, it dies there. Debian, a rock-solid base you can strip down to the bare essentials. That freedom is the first real step toward privacy. But don't think you're done just because you installed Linux and changed your wallpaper to a hacker anime GIF. Your DNS requests are screaming your browsing history to your ISP in plain text, unless you encrypt them. Your storage? If you're not using full disk encryption, a thief could yank your data with a USB stick faster than you can say data breach. And then there's your browser, the single biggest snitch you own. Google and Meta don't just know what websites you visit, they know what device you're using, what time you're usually awake, how fast you type, and yes, even what fonts you've got installed. Creepy doesn't even begin to cover it, so you compartmentalize. One browser for personal stuff, another for work, another for shopping. You throw in tracker blocking extensions, refuse cookies you don't need, and stop letting one company stitch your entire life into a giant map of, this is you. It's not bulletproof, but suddenly, you're scattering crumbs instead of feeding them a buffet. And here's the thing people forget. Privacy isn't just tech, it's habits. You can run the most hardened Linux distro on earth, but if you're reusing the same dumb password everywhere, you're toast. You need unique, strong passwords. A manager if you have to. Two-factor authentication on every account that offers it. And don't just trust any service because it's free or convenient. If you dump your whole life into Gmail or iCloud, then yeah, congratulations. You've built the most secure Linux machine in the world that still reports everything straight to Silicon Valley. Privacy isn't about turning invisible. It's about making yourself harder to track, stacking layers until you're not the easiest target anymore. You're not erasing yourself, you're raising the cost of surveillance high enough that you're not worth the effort. Now, here's where it usually falls apart. All of this sounds great in theory, but actually doing it? Absolute nightmare. You're bouncing between outdated blog posts, half-broken GitHub repos, forum threads from 2014, and the one tutorial that assumes you already memorized the Linux kernel. You try to fix one thing, break another, and after five hours, you're back where you started. That's why most people give up after installing one browser extension and pat themselves on the back. And that's exactly why I built something for you. I call it the Privacy Setup Toolkit. It's a simple command line wizard that does the boring part for you, bundling together the best open source privacy tools and hardening your system in one go. One command and it sets up a proper firewall profile, locks down your browser defaults, configures fire jail so shady apps can't touch your files, Auto enables encrypted DNS and even strips metadata out of your files so they don't leak secrets. And it's not some black box, you see every step, you approve it, and you actually learn what's happening. The kind of tool I wish I had when I started. It's inside Cyberflows Academy, because that's where I drop the tools and workflows you won't find anywhere else. But that's honestly just the beginning. See, finding vulnerabilities is only half the battle. The real money comes from knowing how to turn those skills into serious income. And that's exactly what we teach inside. Our members aren't just finding bugs, they're cashing out big. Just last month, one of our guys pulled $12,000 from a single critical he found using advanced techniques we teach in the academy. We're talking about people who invested a less than $30 and made it back 20x over in their first quarter. Because here's what nobody tells you. The technical skills are just the entry fee. The real money comes from knowing which 
which programs pay fast, how to write reports that get maximum payouts, building relationships with security teams, and scaling your workflow so you're not trading time for money anymore. We teach you the business side that everyone else ignores. And since you made it this far, I'm hooking you up with 50% off using code CYBER50. But this expires in 24 hours because I can't keep this price forever. First link in the description.